Even as a new book is hitting the bookshelves in parts of the United States and Guyana on the Thomas Carroll visa racket of over a decade ago, there are reports uh, that investigations are ongoing with regard to another racket involving Guyanese. Federal agents have been in and out of Guyana over the last year, looking into possible links between some local operators and at least one foreigner with regard to an investigation with possible connections to Pakistan. The agents focus, too, on local operators who may have been conducting alien smuggling operations through third-party countries involving clients coming in from Asian countries in particular. No charges have been brought so far in these investigations. The new book, The Thomas Carroll Affair, deals with an alien smuggling operation that occurred in Guyana over 13 years ago. The author, an American adjunct professor, David Cassivis, traces the origin of the racket from Taiwan to Guyana and into the United States. Cassivis revives alien smuggling concerns and raises issues of some of the main players at the time. One of the players, Patrick Mentor, is part of a program being administered by the Ministry of Home Affairs. There are now calls for his removal from that post. The other reason why I'm out here is as revealed in the book by Thomas, um, the, the Thomas Carroll Affair, the book by David Casavis, um, is that he has mentioned in his book, nothing new though, but now that we have got, we have a foreigner writing about the happenings in Guyana, and more so about individuals who still continue to hold public office. One individual is um, Mr. Patrick Mentor. Uh, Patrick Mentor is an advisor to the Minister of um, Home Affairs on strategic planning, that is the um, reform of the Guyana Police Force. How could you have an individual like Mr. Mentor to head that committee or to even be a part of that committee? Carroll's arrest also highlighted the use of the death squads in Guyana and according to Cassavis' book, Carroll planned to spread his visa fraud operation to more American embassies. In nine months, he had amassed 8 to 12 million U.S. dollars, selling visas and flooding America with drug runners, thieves and rapists. He even had a branch of the Guyanese police specialist in extrajudicial murder in his pocket, according to the book. The book is available online at Amazon.com. For Capital News, Enrico Wolford reporting.